Hey guys. So a lot of you have reached out to me over the last few weeks. Um, and just to tell me that you've listened to my podcast and that it's really helped you in all areas of your life, especially with everything that's going on right now. Like it's just really helped you stay on track. So I wanted to say thank you because it's such a big deal. Like I created this podcast for that to be able to help empower people. So the fact that it is doing that and you guys are reaching out to me to tell me that is just freaking superb. So um, you may have noticed that there is no music in my background anymore on my episodes. Um, honestly, it's just, it was <laughs> so much to put all of this music on here and maybe I'll bring it back one day. But right now, I just want to like stick to the nitty gritty and just speak some truth into y'all, whether there's music in the background or not, my words are still equally as powerful. <laughs> so I wanted to talk about limited beliefs. Um, the fact that we don't really realize that we've placed them on ourselves and that they are some of the biggest things that are holding us back is just such a big deal. Um, you have to have an I am mentality, even if you aren't where you currently want to be, even if there is a ton of obstacles in your way, you still have to be able to see it and envision it and never, ever let that vision go. When you're looking at certain situations and say, I can't do this because of whatever reason, or thinking that you'll never see your vision come to life, those are things that you're telling your brain and your brain is like, oh, okay. So I mean, like, if that's how you feel, if that's how you think, then obviously it's true, right? Whether you think it or speak it out loud, you're still bringing those limiting beliefs to life. You have to think of your brain as a small child. Would you tell this child that they're not going to achieve any of their goals and that nothing that they're envisioning is ever going to come to life, that things are going to get hard, so they should probably just give up now? No, you absolutely wouldn't. You would speak strength and love and encouragement into them. And that's exactly what you need to do to yourself. You have to speak to your brain like it's a small child. If there is a goal that you're reaching for, but maybe you missed, then you have to acknowledge it in the same way. Tell yourself that you did the best that you could given the circumstances that you had, and now you're going to retry. Now you've had all this growth from when you originally set your goal to now. And so even though you haven't hit your goal, you've still moved forward. I used to really, really struggle with limited beliefs, like hardcore. I started doing my affirmations and I started working through my mental and emotional levels through meditation. And y'all, I was the type of person that like, if I went to yoga, I couldn't do the awkward silence. Like I would sit there for maybe like five or 10 minutes and I just couldn't do it. I could never get into that like mm, Zen mode. I just couldn't. And so meditation was something that honestly, I probably should have taken up a long time ago and I didn't, but recently over the last few months I did. And so it is really like just created this doorway into my healing and so if you've never meditated, I would definitely start doing it. I mean, you don't have to meditate for hours, you know, just like 10 minutes in the morning, maybe 10 minutes at night, just something like some type of form of meditation and like start working through the shit that's in your head. And so when I started meditating, I started questioning myself, like, why am I thinking like this? What is this stemming from? Like this thought didn't just get pulled out of thin air. It's attached to something in my subconscious. So I had to go and do some serious inner work to be able to pull these negative and incorrect labels off of myself. It's changed how I interact with myself and how I interact with others. There will be days that I listen to 20 minutes of personal development. Like that's a non-negotiable. I do 20 minutes of PD every single day. But there are other days where I have to have personal development playing for 99% of my days just like back to back to back all day long with personal development, because there are days when I am just in a rut. Like I just feel foggy. You know, there are days, especially over these last few weeks where I would just feel off and I wouldn't know why I wasn't having a bad day. Like things weren't going poorly. Like there, there was nothing. I just felt off. Like, like I just didn't feel like myself. And so I had no idea why I felt the way that I felt. And so starting doing my meditation and stuff, at least once a day, it's really helped me become grounded. 
And so it has not been an easy journey. And I've had to work through a ton of layers of trauma and through these limited beliefs that I had put on myself. And recently I've actually started waking up earlier, which is crazy guys, because I'm not a morning person. Like I've tried this before like, years ago and then probably last year. Like I would be like, hey, I'm going to get up at 5 a.m. And then 5 a.m. would roll around and I'd be like, nah, I'll do it tomorrow or next week. Like I just wouldn't stick to it. And so I've started getting up earlier and it's changed my mindset so much. Like, like I said, I'm not a morning person, but I am trying to become one because I have these massive goals that I am working on. Um, and I have to get up earlier. Like I have to accommodate these goals. And so that requires me to get my ass up and get going. And so I have a wonderful, wonderful group of people that wake up with me and we work on our goals and personal development together. And y'all, accountability is massive. I've tried to do this 5 a.m. thing by myself, like I said, multiple times, never worked, never, not even once. <laughs> and now that I have my group of people that get up at 5 a.m. with me, it just happens. Like I just get up and I just say, okay, like, Brittany, you aren't going to lay here in this bed. You told these people you're going to show up. So fucking show up, get up 5 a.m. I don't care how tired you are, like drink your energize and get to work. There's nothing that needs to be holding you back. Like just get up. And so now it's going good, y'all. I've had it like two weeks under my belt. It's going good. And so I hate feeling rushed. It pushes me out of alignment and it makes my whole entire day feel off. So waking up earlier has relieved that stressor from my life. And so you have to let yourself feel these emotions, feel these stressors, everything that you have, these subconscious ones that need to be felt and worked through, the ones that keep trying to make their way to the surface, but that you keep pushing down. And so you have to stop speaking these lies to yourself, because like I said in the beginning of this episode, what you're saying, whether you're thinking it, speaking it out loud, whatever you're doing, like your brain hears it. Your brain is not like, oh, this was just a joke. Like she's just kidding. She doesn't really think that your brain's like, oh, shit. OK, like. That kind of hurts, but if that's how you feel, then we're just going to roll with it. And so see yourself traveling and becoming whoever it is that you want to become. Uh, see yourself having financial freedom, living in your dream house, being in an incredibly healthy relationship with yourself, and then with someone else who knows your worth and is on your same level. Don't try to get into a relationship when you're still healing and you're still working through all this stuff. Like, get your shit together first. You can truly have it all, but you have to pull all of these false labels off of yourself. You have to change your mindset by working through things on a subconscious level. And you're able to do that by writing down, you know, what you want, no matter your current situation, put it on a post-it note, slap it on your mirror, do whatever you need to do, but you need to have these things that you are working through. You need to visualize it, you know, be able to see it, be able to think it and, you know, talk about it and work through it. Say, I have financial freedom. I live my life on my own terms. I am a warrior. I am stronger than the obstacles that have been placed in front of me. Whatever sparks your fire, I do know. Anywhere, sticky note or a notepad or an app on your phone, like doesn't even matter, y'all. Just write it down somewhere. And have compassion with yourself and that know, know that not every day is going to be a good day. You're going to have days that are shit days and you have to let yourself go through those days and feel those emotions. Those are the days that you really have to pump up your personal development to really keep you relighting your fire. Like I said, there are days that I have to have personal development like back to back to back. It doesn't mean that I am broken. It doesn't mean that any type of like negative label, you know, you want to attach to people doing personal development, like, oh, that's only for broken people. That's only for blah, 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 blah. Like, no, personal development is crucial and y'all better be doing it every fucking day. Like you need to make it a non-negotiable. So give yourself permission to live your life on your own terms. Stop allowing situations and people that includes yourself. This is a big one to hold yourself back from achieving the things that you have set out to do. Severe emotional abuse throughout most of my life didn't stop me. Having my first child at 17 didn't stop me. Going through a messy divorce didn't stop me. Sleeping on a couch for two months while trying to place, find a place to live didn't stop me. Trying to find a vehicle for myself and my kids through all these changes didn't stop me. 
all of the no's that I've encountered in my life have not stopped me. Working through my emotional layers didn't stop me. Being a single mama of two boys did not stop me. Everything that was meant to destroy me could not fucking stop me. Situations and people might push me down, but I can promise you that I will always get back up and I will push back harder. There is nothing and no one that can hold me back from my dream life. I may have struggled, but I never gave up. I never backed down and I never will. I promise that you are so much stronger than you think and that you'll always have me in your corner. Know that once you remove these limiting beliefs off of yourself, that your entire life will change. But these changes have to be made by you. You have to do the inner work. That's not anyone else's responsibility. You can't say, oh, well, I'm stuck in this part of my life because so-and-so did this or so-and-so did that or this person should have done this, but they did me wrong. They did me dirty. Okay, I'm sorry, tough shit. Like things get hard and there are situations that are going to arise where you're like, what the hell? You know, like I'm a good person. Why is this stuff happening to me? And then you have to step back and say, okay, you know what? I have to set these boundaries. I have to work through these layers and these limiting beliefs. I have to do that. No one else. You have to create a no BS mindset, a mindset that will allow you to stand firm behind your decisions and behind your firm, healthy boundaries. And I'm going to tell you guys right now that I don't need a single person to choose me because I choose me. I don't need a single person to like any of my decisions because I like my decisions. I don't need a single person to approve of me or like me because I approve of me and I like me. I am whole and worthy all by myself, not from your opinion, not from your you know, validation, nothing. I am whole and worthy without a partner. I am whole and worthy without all of the social media likes. I am whole and worthy without any particular circumstance. I am whole and worthy because I am me. And you are whole and worthy because of everything that makes you you. So I know this episode's a little bit longer than my normal ones. They're usually like three to five minutes because I want you guys to like get in, get your PD, get out, go work on your shit. But today I was all up in my field. I needed to get it out. And so there you go. These limited beliefs that you have placed on yourself, they're holding you back. Like you may not see it right now, but I can 100% guarantee it's the shit that's holding you back. So you need to write it down. Start writing it down. Okay, this is the feeling that I had, or this is the thought that I had. Why? What is it connected to? You need to write it down and figure it out and work through it so that you can continue to move forward without these limited beliefs holding you back. So feel free to share this episode on your social media and tag me in it so that we can empower even more people and remind them of their worth. I love you guys.